All right, well, today I want to talk about using the Yamaha Studio Live software that integrates uh, a mixing console with the computer. There's three things I want to accomplish in this brief tutorial. I want to show you how to connect them, get them synchronized so that they're communicating with each other. I can show you how that's done in our situation here, and hopefully it applies to what you're doing here. Uh, or what you're doing in your situation. Second, <clears throat> if you're using this in a recording studio setting uh, or even live sound, how do you save your console settings into your uh, studio live software? How do you save it and you so then, then it's a small YSE file that you can keep in the cloud or on a thumb drive or whatever and have access to that that mix and, and routing wherever you go. And finally, how do, once we have a saved session and we pull it off of um, Dropbox.com or out of the cloud or off a thumb drive, how do we recall that? And there's ways that that works and there's ways that we found that, that it doesn't work. So let's, let's get right into it here. Um, so the icon looks like this. It, it says SM2. Kind of reminds me of the old SimCity 2000 icon. And it'll boot up. <clears throat> and in our case, I think if there are more than one Yamaha device, they would all show up here, and we want the Yamaha DM2000. Here's what that looks like. I don't know if you can download the software and say on your way to a session on a laptop, could you do some pre production routing and stuff like that? I have yet to try that, but I'm sure would be curious to see if it does work. All right, so let's say I've been mixing out here on the console, and <clears throat> I have all these sounds running. And I, on the console, maybe I'm using some effects like compression, EQ, um, wh whatever I have going on. And in this case, it's a surround mix, so I have the console set up in a certain way that, personally, I don't set it up this way a whole lot, and it'd be a lot easier to pull up a small YSC file rather than try to remember all the specific routing that in order to get the surround system um, routing in place. So let's say I want to save my mix and all my routing. How do I do that? Here's what we do. Um, you'll notice that there's menus right here and then they're also duplicate, duplicated up at the top a little bit. Uh, the, the way you want to get them synchronized is go to this file menu right here. Go to System Setup where it says input port, we're going to go with port 1, and this is for our situation here uh, at the University of Colorado, Denver. And for the output port, also go with port 1, and then OK. Once you do that, you will be able to go under synchronize and say resynchronize. In other words, we want to take a, a snapshot of the, the console and capture it in this software, or vice versa and this is the dialogue. So in, in my case, I'm just going to move some faders around a, a little bit here. Move them around. And let's say I want to save my mix on that console and I want to save it into here. I would just say OK. And this takes about 40, 30 or 40 seconds. So this <coughs> is really handy software. You can see that It'll show you visually where all the aug sends are, so you could save um, a session for all your tracking. So you could set up all your cue mixes, activate the direct outs, which in our studio they're, they're not all on, and you have to go into each track and activate the direct out. So you could save all that stuff uh, inside a small YSE file and recall it. All right, so that's how you save your settings uh, if you mix on the console. Or there's some kind of scene or whatever that you want to save from the Yamaha and, and recall it uh, or, or capture it for future recall. Now let's say I'm in the studio and I was mixing and I, I want to recall um, a past mix as far as what was on the Yamaha console. How do I recall a past mix? Well let me show you what I found not that, that, that doesn't work. If I just go into the finder and here I am on the desktop, and here's, oh, here's here's a YSE file on the desktop, Pete's Surround Mix Yamaha. Let me double click it, it's just open it. 
Should open up, right? No, okay, that's good so far. <gasps> oh, there's a warning. So it doesn't like it if you double click on anything. If you're on the desktop, if you try to double click it, that won't work either. Um, so <clears throat> the final thing I'm going to mention that, that we found that won't work is this menu up here. Like I think I said before, these menu items we've had less luck with. So go under this file, this open, and then find wherever your whatever whatever where, wherever the YSE file is that you want to recall, and then open that up. We're gonna find it'll appear. So at first it gets captured here, and here's all my outputs and etc. And the we still have to go and resynchronize. So just to review, we go to system setup, input port one, output port one, okay. Then we can tell this mix and all the parameters to go to the console because right now the console I'm looking at it looks different than what I'm seeing on the screen here. So let's let's get them resynchronized. And this time I want to go the other way. I want this scenario to be superimposed in, into onto the uh, Yamaha so okay and again that'll take about 30 seconds well you've maybe heard the fader slide just getting closer about done. Alright, well that is the gist of it. So hopefully you have seen how you can <clears throat> synchronize the console and the computer. In other words, get them communicating together and con uh, controlling one to the other. Um, you know, Once you get to this point, I should say everything I do, this is moving the fader. You can probably hear it. It's right by the recorder. And uh, anything you control gets reflected. You can turn up auxiliaries. Uh, I don't think this opens the EQ dialog, but uh, you can turn on the compressor, uh, turn on the direct outs, uh, whatever you need to do, you can do it here and it gets reflected onto that control surface. I've not found a way to toggle in between layers. I, this is layer, what is layer is this? Uh, 25 through 48. I haven't found a way to go to the next layer. So, uh, even if you stretch it out, it's there's there's no real button that I found to go to the next layer. But but if you just hit it on the console, it takes a second, but <clears throat> eventually it, it catches up to um, what you what layer you selected on the Yamaha here. All right, well I feel like, I feel like I'm getting a little long-winded here, but but hopefully you learned how to to synchronize them together, how to save your mix and then how to recall that mix on a future date. Thanks a lot. I hope this is helpful, and we'll see you next time.